We are going to write a formula for each sequence. Let's begin with this one. We have 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1, and so on. And then before we do anything, let's make a convention. We will start with n is equal to 1. Some other people may start with n is equal to 0, that's fine. And their formula may look slightly off, but then it's actually the same. It just depends on your convention on what number of n that you want to begin with. Anyways, let's take a look at these numbers. We have to ask ourselves, how can we get from the first number to the second number? What do we need to do with 1 to get negative 1? Well, I know that 1 minus 2 gives me negative 1, right? But then, unfortunately, if I take negative 1 minus 2, that does not give me positive 1. So that's not the pattern. And now let's look at it this way. If I take 1 and then I multiply this 1 by negative 1, 1 times negative 1 gives us the negative 1. And if I continue, if I take this negative 1 and I multiply by negative 1 again, negative 1 times negative 1 will also give us this number, the positive 1. And then in fact, that's the pattern. I keep multiplying by negative 1 throughout these numbers. And as you can see, because we keep multiplying by the same number over and over, this is technically a geometric um, sequence. So we know a general formula for geometric uh, sequence a n is equal to a1 times r raised to the n minus 1 power. And once again, this is for geometric sequence. And based on this, all I need to do is just plug in values. a1 is 1, so we can just write down 1 right here. And then r is the number that we keep multiplying, it's negative 1. So I put, down, uh, put this down in the parentheses, and then we take this raised to the negative 1 power, n minus 1 power. And I can just write this down as a n equals to, we have 1 times anything, the 1 doesn't matter, so we can just you know, write this down, put negative 1 in the parentheses, and then raise to the, negative, uh, raise to the n minus 1 power. And this will take care of it. This right here will be a formula for that. So whenever you see um, in your sequence the sign alternates, most likely you are going to have this factor in full. Uh, however, I do want to make a remark right here. Some of the people may write it as negative 1 raised to the n plus 1 power. And is this okay? Yes, it is. For example, if n is equal to 3 for the third term, if I plug in 3 into this n, 3 plus 1 is 4, negative 1 in the parentheses to the fourth power, we also end up with the correct value, the positive 1. In fact, these two are equivalent. Okay? And can you also think about another way to describe this pattern? Think about it, let me know. Okay? You can use a trick function to do that, but now let's just focus on geometric sequence. Alright, how about let's look at the second one. We begin with negative 1, positive 1, negative 1, positive 1, and so on. And I will call this sequence Bn. Once again, the sign alternates, but then you see that we always have the 1. Here we start with negative 1, and then, once again, the n is 1 to begin with. In this case, I will just take negative 1 raised to the n power. That will do it. If you have 1, in, if you have 1 is equal to n right here, negative 1 to the first power, that's how we can start with negative 1. And then it's just like you keep multiplying by negative 1 throughout. So this right here will be it. And then, just in case you wonder, um, what else can we do with uh, this sequence? This right here is equivalently saying, let's say a n. I can use a trick function for this. 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1. If you look at that, uh, let me show you a unit circle real quick. 1 is right here. Negative 1 is right here for the x value wise, isn't it? And because I'm talking about the unit circle and the x value of the unit circle, we can talk about the cosine function. This is right here is cosine of 0. Cosine of 0 is equal to 1. And then this right here is cosine of pi. Cosine of pi is equal to negative 1. And then if we come back here, cosine of 2 pi is also equal to 1. So if you want to begin with 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1, so on, you don't necessarily use, need to use this. I can use a trick function, which is cosine. But then it's going to be a multiple of pi. And here, I want to have cosine of 0 first, though. But then, since n is equal to 1, I will have to do n minus 1 
right here. Cosine of n minus 1 pi, n minus 1 in the parentheses and multiplied by pi, this right here can also describe that sequence. You can try it out. For example, if n is equal to 4, plugging 4 into n right here, 4 minus 1 is 3, cosine of 3 pi will also give you negative 1. Right here, if you have negative 1, okay, I can also use cosine for this sequence. I can say bn is equal to cosine of some kind of pi. But in this case, since I begin with negative 1, I want to begin with 1 pi. But n is 1 already, so all I need to do is just n pi. That's all I need to do. And one word the other, they are equivalent. This and that are equivalent. This and that right here are equivalent. Um, all this will produce the correct um, sequence for you. That's it.